Hello there. I'd like to share with you some experiments I conducted that were inspired by the work of Antoine Lavoisier, an 18th century French chemist. Among his many accomplishments, Lavoisier is lauded for standardizing chemical nomenclature using Greek roots, most notably for naming the elements hydrogen and oxygen, hydrogen, water forming, and oxygen, acid forming. Although today we know that not all acids contain oxygen. In his book, Elementary Treatise on Chemistry, Lavoisier describes numerous methods for isolating hydrogen and oxygen gas, and then recombines them to demonstrate that water is not in fact an element, as was thought at the time, but rather a compound of these two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. Since I lack the instruments that Lavoisier uses, I will use household chemicals to isolate hydrogen and oxygen gas, and then examine their properties of combustion, first separately, and then together, in the ratio of two parts hydrogen to one part oxygen. I hope you enjoy. The first element I isolated was oxygen by mixing sodium hypochlorite, the active ingredient in bleach, and hydrogen peroxide. Because the reaction from mixing these two liquids happened instantaneously, I needed to develop an airtight system that would contain the oxygen, using a camelback water bladder and sports bottle. Behold my extremely sophisticated airtight system. In this demonstration video, the reaction unfortunately produced more foam than gas. I think I used too much hydrogen peroxide in this case. Now I'm filling up this Gatorade bottle with oxygen, using water to ensure it is the only gas in the bottle. And now One, for combustion two. of oxygen. <sighs> that was my mother expressing her dismay at my antics. To isolate hydrogen, I mixed aluminum foil with hydrochloric acid. This reaction was much slower. It took about a minute and a half for the first bubbles of hydrogen to start forming although the resulting reaction was quite violent. For these demonstration videos, I filled the entire bottle with the respective gas, but for the recombination of water, I made sure to measure out two-thirds of the bottle, which I filled with hydrogen, and then filled the remaining third with oxygen which I had already prepared. As you can see, the reaction continued for some time. Now for combustion of hydrogen. Another demonstration which was originally filmed in slow motion. Now for the climax, combining hydrogen and oxygen. In this first attempt, I didn't quite achieve the ratio of two parts hydrogen to one part oxygen, which resulted in some condensation, but sadly, no explosion. It does sound pretty cool, though. Ready to fire in the hole? This was my successful attempt.
three, two, one. In case you couldn't tell, I had a lot of fun with this project. Thanks so much for watching.